So just a little bit more about where we've come from with the regard to the training. Well, over the last couple of years, Tamara and I have been doing a lot of training and mentorship with um, a variety of government projects. In particular, one is a, a specialized incubator lab for people that come in with an idea and then take that business idea, a real business that's turning over money and making international sales online within 80 days. We've actually been involved in three of these labs now, and this is one of our classes. We go in and we basically teach these people and mentor them in the key things that they need to know in order to get a business up and running. We've also coupled this with some key digital marketer training, which we'll talk about in a little bit. What we did is we looked at the uh, MLM model and we looked at some of the issues with it. And then we created the new CCM model. And essentially, you know, people needed, uh, we decided needed money immediately. They couldn't wait to build levels and levels. They had to have money now to survive. So that's why we've, we've gone with a really simple model, 30% commission across the board. And, but a lot of people are just so excited about what we can offer with regard to the actual training, the mentoring, the network, because they see that as a real opportunity. And that's really our goal is we're wanting to move people from where they are now to being really well-rounded entrepreneurs and having access to the CCM model that we've created, community channel marketing, and then using the products that we had created over time. So we've um, started to amass some amazing people. And I think it's because we've openly welcomed them with a spirit of no judgment. Um, and everybody's here to learn and support each other. I know that sounds too good to be true, but it's the reality of what we've done. And uh, it harks back to the whole meaning of Basal. And we live by that code. And that's something that we absolutely will not bend on. If people aren't prepared to show up in a manner of basal, where they're being ethical, they're being moral, they're being supportive, they're of good deed and intent, then they're not going to be part of this tribe or they're not going to fit well. So we're very, very um, adamant that that is exactly how things work uh, in, the, in the basal family. So really, this is a great place for um, mums looking to return to work. Basal is a perfect fit for them. We've got people from the retail and hospitality industry that have been highly successful in selling clothes or makeup or, you know, running restaurants, all sorts of things, being chefs. And they've realized that those hours don't no longer suit them. They're, but they're, they're very, very familiar with dealing with people and know how to sell. It's a great place for college students. Why not earn some money on the side and learn entrepreneurship? I mean, there's that old adage, you can, um, you can give a man a fish and feed him for a day, you can teach a man a fish, or in this case, a woman, and feed her forever. And that's exactly what we're doing. We're really about empowering people to be able to fend for themselves and make money and stand on their own two feet. We've got um, a lot of aspiring entrepreneurs that have just said, I need a change, give it to me. And so, you know, here they are. We've also got people that have been in the MLM space or direct selling, whatever you want to call it. And you know, they haven't reached the goals that they wanted to do to really be able to, to uh, meet their entrepreneurial or their own uh, personal needs. And so this is where uh, Basal becomes such a great thing that they can plug in. Uh, and sometimes it starts as a side hustle, sometimes it starts as their main hustle. But in, inevitably, um, we think that you're gonna love what we've got to offer. And then we've got this group up here that are really, really interesting. This is a group that are about spiritual growth through service. A lot of people have tried entrepreneurship and they've been a little bit disheartened by the, the journey. So we've got to a point where we realize that the, the thing that's missing has been that spiritual side, that real connection with the people, the connection back to the planet, the connection about what we're trying to do for the benefit of everybody. So we're very much about a spiritual base and um, doing this so that it fills your bucket in every way, uh, shape and form. Because at the end of the day, I mean, this doesn't seem like work to us because we love what we're doing and we're finding that people that are working with us are feeling the same. So to me, hey, that's awesome. And if we can help more people find that, then job done for us as well. So here's